and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. What are you up to? Uh, me? Uh, oh, nothing. I'd call that something. Oh, oh, that? Well, well, it was supposed to be a surprise. This had better be good, Orko. Oh, it's for Tila. I'm working on a capture beam. You fire it, and rays reach out to grab and hold a prisoner. It's like throwing a lariat. Very interesting. Except that this is explosive, and this is very dangerous unless you know how to handle it. Oh. Orko, you know your magic is not always reliable. That's not true. Oh? Does it always do what you want it to? Yes! Always? Well... Not always. And you know what kind of trouble that gets you into? Especially if you keep fooling around with things you've been told to leave alone. You are not to touch this. Do you understand? Yes, sir. It was a good idea, Father. Well, yes, it was. Thank you, Orko. The idea was a wonderful gift. Adam, your parents are waiting to see us. And I have to check with the palace guard. See you later. Coming, Orko? Uh, I'll just clean up in here. Orko, do not play with any of the things in that cabinet. You don't know how to handle them, and they can be dangerous. Yes, sir. I know. Or anything else in here, either. I mean that. Yes, sir. I don't want him playing in there. I've changed some of the solutions around in my supplies, and they're not all marked. Well, you've warned him, so I'm sure he'll be all right. Oh, what are you doing? Man at arms said not to touch that. I decided to do something else. I'm going to make you brave. What did you do? As if I didn't know. I, uh, well, I, I, I used some of the powders in the lab. I was only trying to make Cringer a little braver, like when he's Battle Cat. I hate being Battle Cat. I don't know why you're so angry, Man at Arms. All I did was. I gave you a warning for your own safety, and you ignored it. 
You listen carefully, Orko. It all goes back to a time before you came here when Adam first found Cringer in the hills of Eternia. I had just made a new device and Adam had offered to test it. Here's the new animal caller I made up, Adam. It imitates all the sounds of the animals you're likely to see on your camping trip. Oh, thanks, man-at-arms. I'll see you in a few days. Mid-morning, spotted one spine deer, a young buck, general area of forest glade. Well, that call works. Uh-oh, saber cat. And he looks hungry. The only thing a saber cat is afraid of is a mandacore. Maybe I can scare it off with a mandacore call. Whew, thank goodness this works. Look at you, fella. Where's your mother? You've been hurt. Let's see what we can do to fix you up. That might make you feel better, but you don't look too good, fella. I think I better take you back to where you can be properly treated. He's very badly hurt, Adam. I don't know if I can save him. Well, you have to try. He lost his mother somehow. He got terribly hurt out there alone. If I hadn't come along, my... Don't worry, Adam. I'll do my best. It took quite a while, but with my help and Adam's love and care, the kit gradually got well. Hey, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> I think so, too. Mostly thanks to you. Great pet. <laughs> but I must admit, Cringer is a good name for you. You're afraid of your own shadow. Oh. Hello, Sorceress. Hello, Adam. Hello, Cringer. Cringer, stop trembling. The Sorceress is our friend. Adam, do not be impatient with your pet. Well, he embarrasses me sometimes. In spite of that, you will find he will be very important to you in the future. You may call him Gringer, but he is not entirely what he seems to you just now. I don't understand. You will. Well, I grew up and so did Gringer, but he never seemed to change. He was still afraid of his own shadow. And he still stuck to Adam like a burr. Everywhere Adam went, Gringer followed. Except for when I became He-Man. To make that change, I had to be alone, so I always made sure Cringer wasn't around when I did. But I don't see what that has to do with me not listening to Man-at-Arm's warning. You will. Things began to change when an archaeological party discovered something strange in the Tikan jungle. We found several strange buildings in the jungle, Your Majesties. Our initial readings indicate they are over 100 centuries old. If that is correct, 
These buildings may be a link to Eternia's earliest history. We must send out a full archaeological party at once. I suggest we appoint man-at-arms to lead it. He is the most skilled person in Eternia deciphering ancient writings. We can start at once, Your Majesty. Well, let's see. I'll need these boots and this and this. I'll need this, of course. No one said anything about Cringer coming along, but Cringer had other ideas. Cringer? Get out of there! <laughs> Still can't get rid of that scaredy cat, can you, Adam? <laughs> oh, he's hopeless. I suppose he'll find some way to follow me, no matter what I do. Is there any way to take him, man-at-arms? Well, I don't suppose it would do any harm. But you'll have to watch him and don't let him get into any trouble. <laughs> don't worry. Trouble is the last thing Cringer looks for. I'll take care of him. Move over, Cringer. I'm flying with you. There's something very strange about the main building, Man-at-Arms. What's that? Well, everywhere else in the jungle, there's life. Birds, animals, insects. Around that building, there's nothing. Just the vines that grow over it. It's eerie here at night. These are the writings I made copies of. Well, let's take a look. I've never seen anything like them. They look a little like ancient pellite. I'll need an exact copy of this to compare to my research cubes. We'll be here for hours. Come on, let's look around a little on our own. All right. Look, it's some kind of door. Yeah, it's been walled over. Hmm. Some of these inscriptions look the same as the first ones they found. We should tell Father about this. Man-at-arms, we found some kind of door further along the wall here. It could be important. It's getting dark. We should get back to camp. It can wait until morning. After all, it's, it's waited for centuries. Father's always so cautious. Well, it's not dark yet. We could still take a short look at the door. Hey! I think I found a crack! <laughs> oh, come on, Cringer. It was only a little dust that's been sealed up too long. I think that's enough for tonight, Adam. We'd need heavier equipment to get through that door anyway. That's the truth. Let's get back to camp and get some sleep. Come on, Cringer. I'd warned Adam and Tila of possible danger, but like you, they wouldn't listen. Gee, what happened then? Pay attention and I'll tell you. Hmm, definitely some similarities to ancient Pellite. They look the same. No, Adam, they look almost the same. In Pellite, that symbol stands for evil. The other one probably means the same. Evil, I think. Yes. Yes, I think it could be warning or beware. It's right up here, not much further. Gee, Adam, I thought you said there was only a little crack in the door. It was just a small crack yesterday. Well, maybe, maybe there was an earthquake. I think we would have noticed that, Ram Man. Anything could have caused that widening in the crack. Pressure from inside, settling of the structure. But uh, let's see what we can find inside. Bring up the tools. We're going in. I don't like this, Tila. We didn't widen the crack like that. Father knows what he's doing. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
It's me, Adam. <laughs> what happened to Cringer? You will find he will be very important to you in the future. You may call him Cringer, but he is not entirely what he seems to you just now. Well, you're certainly not a Cringer anymore. All right, big cat. Let's go. <laughs> Zoar. The Gage monster has broken out of its prison, he man. Your strength can force it back. You cannot harm it or defeat it. But you can help me lock it up again. How? A direct attack will not do it. You must be clever, He-Man. Use Battle Cat. He's your partner. Force the gauge back to its prison. Right. So, it's Battle Cat, is it? Let's go. Scatter. Don't bunch up. It'll trap us. That way, spread out. <laughs> But what's that? I don't know, but I'm glad it's on our side. The creature must be imprisoned in the structure again. He-Man and Battlecat will force it there if they can. You must be ready to trap it inside. The explosives are in the arms chest. We have to set them at the door the beast came from. If He-Man can get the beast inside... We'll slam the door. Let's go! That's it, Battle Cat. That case, explosive pods. That pack, make sure the fuses and charges are all there. Now, Battle Cat, this way. That's right, confuse him. My turn. Taylor, put another pod up there, over the opening. When we blow this up, I want that whole top slab to come down. Yes, Father. Down here. If it sees you, we won't have much time. Now, run for that door. They could be trapped in there. Uh, give them some time to get out. I can't wait very much longer. Come on, He Man. Where are they? Let it get out again. I have to lock it in. And He-Man, too. He-Man. Look! Are you all right? Just a few scratches. Thanks to my new friend here. Where did he come from? <laughs> you'd be surprised. No, you'd really be surprised. 
So you see, Orko, if Adam and Tila had listened to my warning, the Gedge would never have gotten loose. And I would never have become that awful Battle Cat. Well, I'm glad you did, old buddy. Without Battle Cat, He-Man would be a lonely fella. Oh, gosh, I, I, I guess I'm stuck with it. In today's adventure, Orko was warned not to play with certain bottles. Well, Orko didn't listen, and he nearly caused a lot of trouble. There may be containers like this one in your home. This symbol is a warning of poison. Say, that looks like Skeletor. And just like Skeletor, it's bad news. It can make you very sick. So if you see this picture on a bottle or box, it means I'm dangerous, don't touch me. Be a safe person, not a sorry one. <laughs>